everybody. It's Lisa and Susie from Poster My Wall. We are back again today. So today we are just going to do a really quick, quick demo of one of Poster My Wall's newest features, QR codes. So um, why don't you go ahead and let us know in the comments that you're here, say hi, so we can say hi back to you um, later if we don't get to you during class. We love knowing who's here and we love knowing, you know, if this is useful to you and what other kind of content you would love to see. So QR codes are a great way to link your social media posts, flyers, posters, print things, di even digital signage to additional content, right? Somebody just uses their phone or template, scans that clever little code, and it opens up to a well, whatever you want them to do on a website. You know, basically it goes to a web page and that can have a graphic, um, copy, a downloadable PDF, a form, anything you want. So for instance, restaurants, of course, have been using, especially during COVID, QR codes to link to their menus, uh, touchless menus. Schools, you can use them for getting to permission slips. Other businesses use them for, I have a whole list here, event details, right? Sweepstakes rules, brochures, liability waivers, lists of terms and conditions, directions, applications, um, sign-up forms, schedules, PDF documents, pretty much anything else. And adding a QR code to any poster my wall design is super fast, super easy. So uh, first of all, Susie, can you, did you, are we good? Does anybody have any questions so far? Anybody? Uh, we're getting a to? lot of, yeah, uh, we are getting a lot of thumbs up, a lot of good morning, awesome. a lot of hellos and no questions yet, but do drop them in the chat if you have any. Okay, yeah, and if we don't get to them live, because this is a very quick class today, we will definitely get back to you later today. All right, so quick demo. I've already picked a template. So let's just say I have a swimming training center and I'm gonna use this on social media and maybe I'm gonna make some print versions too. And I wanna go get right to the, you know, say the schedule of classes. Um, I want people to be able to see what the class schedule is. So all I have to do is figure out, first of all, where I would like that content to lie. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move the web address. And actually I'm gonna move this because this is, this is too big too. I mean, most templates, they're well designed. So if they don't have a QR code to start with, you'll probably have to do this and shrink some elements, delete some elements, um, move them over. All right, so I'm just gonna change where it says for more info and change it to say, see our schedule. And then I think I skills, uh, okay. Very easy up here, top left elements, click at the very bottom, add QR code, just one click. And boom, there you go, you've got your QR code. And then of course, like any other element you've brought in, you can rotate it and you can use those arrows to drop and drag, make it bigger and smaller. So I'm just gonna bring it down where I wanted it. And you could see, you could use the same design on social media uh, and also on, a, on print flyers and posters now that COVID is starting to recede and people are out on that, about in person more, I think we'll all be putting more print flyers up again. Uh, once you've got your QR code in place, um, you, people don't know this, but a QR code does not actually have to be black. So if you say wanted it to be white, so it turned out better, um, you could pick a color from your design. If you say wanted to pick up this bright pink, also nice feature, it says background, transparent or solid color. If you wanted to, um, say put a white background, you know, pick from the design, you can do any color background you want, make that QR code stand out just as much as you want. And then the final thing you need to do with your QR code is you need right here, you need to send it somewhere. So where it says www.google.com, you can change that. So maybe our website um, for the schedule, maybe it'd be, swim, you know, maybe our it's swim, you know, swimming, Trading, TC for trading center, schedule, enter. And as you can see, you've got your web address there and that is it. And it was that easy. Your QR code is done in your poster and ready to be published. So how do you guys use QR codes in your marketing? We would love to know. Susie, are there any questions? 
Oh, so uh, not a question about QR codes, but uh, Matt wanted to know where should he submit feature addition ideas? Oh, um, send them, send them right to me. Send them to Lisa at postermywall.com. That would be awesome. I look, I look forward to seeing your suggestions. And here, Matt's idea. Yeah. No pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, this video is going to stay here on Facebook. It'll also go onto our YouTube channel and be on our website. So if you in our video library, so if you want to take a look at it again or forward it and share it to a friend, that option is there to you. Um, Susie, if there are no other questions, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Well, so thank you all so much. Hope you have fun adding QR codes to your designs. And everybody have a really great day.